Hello and welcome to another OCC episode. In this episode, we're gonna play more Minecraft as usual. So, in the last episode, we introduced the game rules and we went out of the house. We created a program called uh, Thirst. Yeah. This one that Lua, which basically broke down beneath it and went outside and came back. Just like that. Now I think we're gonna start chopping down some trees. And in particular, I'd like to start with that one because why not? So, how are we gonna do that? Let's switch for either. Alright, let's fire up Win Home Source and this file. So I'm gonna edit this file. Um, no wait, actually let's create another file. Home source tree one that lua and then import that file. Home source this one. So we're gonna get to the tree and then we wanna come back. Let me also require a robot API. Alright, so uh, here we are out of the house just in front of us and we want to move. Let's count. We want to move about one, two, three, four, five, six in this direction, and then one, two, three to the left. Okay. So, yeah, six in this direction, and then minus two. Okay, so let's just start coding. How do we go six blocks forward? For i equals one two x two for that dot forward and for that dot turn around for that uh, I mean for one from for i from one to x two Robot that forward and then end. Of course, we have to do a turnaround as well because otherwise it's gonna mess it up. Think. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's right. So let's see what happens. If you want source three, one. It's going to start with breaking them blocks beneath, going up, moving there. Is it right there? Oh, I think we should modify it to five. Okay, uh, that was fine. Uh, let's try the moving in this direction now. So, editor. Um, if Z, is neg Z was negative, then oh, end. Yeah. So if Z is negative, we want to move to the left. So we do robot that turn left, some columns, and then for I from one. To minus z do what do we want to do? We'll put that forward. And it, yeah. There's also an also statement which will turn right and the 
for loop is pretty similar only then we don't go we go to positive x now for coming back we pretty much do the same first turn around right and then oh okay if it was negative at the end we want to turn right and if it was positive we want to turn left right yeah yeah this should work fine let's test it out and uh, okay let's look real quick I don't want bad things to happen to us to our Harkness okay go to the Harkness let's see what you can do so it went down coming up moving forward and left two blocks come back yeah it was perfect so uh, okay quick changes we could even use this one needs to be 5 and this needs to be 1 yeah once more Harkness goes to the tree yeah I think it was about it now we need to go one down and then one forward right one down swing go forward and then swing up forward swing up forward for like four blocks yeah yeah let's try that so I'm gonna add a degree value to this uh, y value I mean sorry of uh, four uh, the file has been changed in the no no reload it yes Local y equals 4. So we are at the tree, then we want to start swinging around. So cut the tree and then go forward once, then for iPhone 1, 2 y minus 1 do so what do we want to do we want to swing up and then up right yes and then come down and and I think we have to move back one block. Yeah, yeah. What about that back? Okay, let's see what happens. Go, baby. Oh. It was one shirt. Okay. Let's analyze the code. So we were at the tree. I think we need to go down once here. And then up one at one. Uh, robot that's up yes and this needs to be minus two let's try it now and see what happens one last time 
And I really hope this time we're gonna chop the tree. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> okay, alright. So while it comes back, let's update this to six. And yeah. I was right the first time it was six in this direction and then two in that direction, but I messed it up. Anyway, yeah, it's working yet. Perfect. Sorry. What about that? Swing down. Yeah, that was it's great. And it got four. Oh four. I'm gonna start creating a crafting table because we need one and I'm gonna place it right over here I guess yeah why not mm, this is also tiny we need to get another tree as well so let's get that one next so you go Five forward and minus four. Okay, let's copy your tree algorithm from source tree one. Uh, actually, let me make a tree move our tree one into the source 3 like that then copy source 3 3 1 to 3 2 that Lua edit source 3 3 oh move 3 2 to source 3 Yeah, move it there. Let's go to our editor. Not comfortable here at all. Three, two. Perfect. So this is five and this is negative four. And I think the tree's height is five. Yes. Okay, source three, three, two. No, it was one off. It was one off. What a disaster. What a disaster, man. Okay. So I'm gonna. Yeah, let's edit it. Edit source 3 and 3 2. That Lua. This needs to be 5 as well. Let's make this 6 while we read it. Just in case. Run. Beautiful, it's doing it. Perfect. Okay. 
Oh, let's hope for sapling. I really hope you brought back a sapling because, yeah, otherwise we're gonna run out of those trees real fast. Okay, it's all right. So we have eight logs. Perfect. Good boy. Now, what should we gonna do? Okay, so uh, this type of cooling isn't really nice. We have to do a lot of four and a lot of repetitive code. What I'd like to do is have a system where I can say something like forward twice, back and left twice, right twice, something like that. And then the robot would obey my commands and do that. So, um, let's sleep real quick. Okay, good. isn't it not my time though? No. Okay. So the question is, how are we gonna create such a thing? So, uh, I guess we should start by coding. Let's go to my editor and we'll try to get it as far as we can. In the home, I'm gonna create a directory called libraries and then home library I'm gonna say move that Lua okay so the move library well it's a library so it has to have a return value of some table and I think we need the robots API as well and we're gonna define a function move that move or move that yeah move that move why not which will get a path so to say and we'll try to obey that path so how are we gonna move over this path okay so so the path is something like this a command followed by an action so for example f3 followed by a comma then do I need the comma no 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 although it wouldn't be bad if we had it hmm okay I'm gonna yeah we have a comma and then another comment so basically this will go forward two blocks and then come back two blocks or we could try something like f3 right and then f1 okay so uh, we need another function move that act which will get a argument uh, called act right and for example if the act is f then we want to go forward else if act is backward then we want to go back let's try with this too so in my home directory I'm gonna add a test.lua in which uh, first package that's loaded 
dot movement equals mean then local move oh what was the name I forgot refresh it was move so yeah require move and then move that okay I need to, I seriously need to remember what I named my okay act move that act F then move that act B okay should be easy let's try to see what happens so Minecraft run test error in function act robots any value what okay let's see what okay we have no okay ah uh, here's a problem this means robots okay nothing serious yeah it works so it came forward one block and then then back one block so i think that's it for today guys in the next episode we're gonna try to complete our library and then do stuff with it oh there's one yeah let me get that one block of wood as well then we can call the day so source tree tree one the y needs to be five then we're gonna call source tree tree one yeah Goodbye. Okay, I'll see you in the next one.